za watching, ears are listening, sound is quiet, children are seated, and we are going to learn. Counting in tens. It's your teacher, Anansieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu, Learning Simplified. Now, counting forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. It has been the song of the day, and we have done this the whole of this week. And I don't see anything that will make grade twos fail, counting backwards and forward in tens. What are tens? What are tens? Tens are numbers that end with zero, and of course one zero. The numbers between zero and a 100. These are the numbers we call tens. And of course those numbers must end with zeros. A 10 is a, a 10, a 20 is a 10, a 30 is a 10, a 40, is a 10, a 50 is a 10, a 60 is a 10, a 70 is a 10, an 80 is a 10, a 90 is a 10. These are the numbers we call tens. Are we together? So if you're told, count forward. What does forward mean? Forward means plus 10. Backward means minus 10. So if you're told, count forward in tens. What? Does the rule apply? The rule says the number must end with a zero. The number must end with a zero. For example, if I'm told, which one is the missing number here? I have 10, I have 20, I have 30, I have 40. Which one is the missing number? Which one is the missing number? So the number increases. One, two, three, Four. So the next number here will be five. And now a ten must have a what? A zero. A ten must have a zero. Now I'm told this is seventy, sixty, fifty. Find the missing numbers. What were we talking about? This one, look at your numbers. Are they increasing or reducing? We are saying this is reducing. So 7 minus 1, you get a 6. 6 minus 1, you get a 5. 5 minus 1, you'll get a 4. And what did we say about tens? Tens must have a 0. And now 4 minus 1, you'll get a 3. And what about 10? A 10 must have a 0. So the missing number there will be 40 and 30. Now, sometimes you will find that they have interchanged the number. The number is 25, 35, 45. Now, teacher, what happens? And you've said it must have a zero. Now, when you come to the numbers where the numbers end with, if that number intends, the first number ends with five, all the other numbers must end with five. The only thing you check is, is the number increasing or reducing? So when you look at 25, 35. The first number already is increasing. From 2, we go to 3. From 3, you go to 4. So from 4, you will go to 5, which means the number must be a 55. From 5, you go to 2, 3, 4, 5, you go to 6. And what is our end number? Our end number is 5. Okay? What if it is reducing and the number is 74, 64, 34, 54, 44. Which one will be the missing number? Look at the first number. The first number is reducing by 1. So if 7 take away 1, you get 6. 6 take away 1, you get 5. 5 take away 1, you get 4. So what will be 4 take away 1? 4 take away 1 will be 3. And look at the second number. The second number must be the same. When we are counting in tens, the second number must be the same. So it automatically tells us that the missing number there is 34. Basically, we have reduced this number by 10. If I reduce this number by 10 and I am using the plus value to get the answer, this one is 4, and this one is 6. So the answer here will be 64. And then I reduce again this by 10. This one is 
54. I reduce again this by 10. This one is 44. I reduce again this one by 10. This one gives us 34. So up to there. Who find it difficult to do this work? Any problem there? Now, you have been given questions here to tackle at home during your own free time. The question is 45, 35, 25. And now find the missing number. Now you come here. The question is 40, 50, 60. Find the missing number. And here the question is 90, 80, 70, 60. And now find the missing number. Remember our rules. Tens have zeros. But now if you find a number, the number must be the same in all the questions. Up to there, any problem? Any question? It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much.